Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta.Exchange, a leading crypto trading platform. And today, the markets were disappointing. And today morning, the news came that the U.S. debt ceiling, uh, it was passed in the House, and it will be passed in the Senate very soon. So it was a good news. And after this good news, uh, most of the Asian markets were higher. European futures were also higher, but only two markets did not react to this news. That is one US market itself, the other one is Indian markets. Yesterday, our markets were very, very volatile. And because of that, today it opened almost flat. And throughout the day, it was uh, trading almost flat with a little bit positive bias sometimes, little bit negative bias sometimes but the markets did not go anywhere but what happened in the last half an hour was really really surprising the bank nifty has fallen almost 300 points in the last 30 minutes and somehow i also expected this that's why today i posted a tweet by saying that yesterday the markets were too volatile after 3 pm so I don't think that uh, any option seller would like to keep the positions after 3 p.m. And after 3 p.m., it is the game of option buyers and hero or zero game. And people who would have bought put option would have made multiple amount of money. And of course, those who would have bought call option would, not, would have gone to zero. That's a different story. The fall of 300 point in the last 30 minutes was very, very, very surprising. And if you look at the market internals, Nifty closed 47 points lower, but the entire 47 point fall came only from two stocks. One is Kotak Bank, the other one is ICICI Bank. Other than these two stocks, the rest all okay. If you look at the broader picture, Nifty and Bank Nifty down. But auto index was higher, metal index was higher, IT index was higher, uh, nifty next 50 index was higher, mid cap index was higher, small cap index was higher. So it was a green everywhere, but banking stocks fell, HDFC bank also fell. So as usual, HDFC bank and Reliance brought the market down in addition to Kotak bank and ICICI bank. Yesterday, Kotak Bank shot up beyond 2000 and that's because of MSCI rebalancing. And today there was no forced selling or uh, there is no forced buying uh, in Kotak Bank. So I'll talk a little bit detail about Kotak Bank MSCI rebalancing. Uh, due to MSCI rebalancing, so a large money has to flow to uh, Kotak Bank and the time was until yesterday. What normally people do, if they were forced to buy, uh, they won't buy at one go. So what they will do, they will slowly create long position in futures. And then certain day, usually on the expiry day, what they will do, they will do the reverse trade. But since they had to buy by yesterday, so they have done the reversal trade yesterday. So that means they will square up their long position in future and they will buy it in the cash market. So this way, they could have bought large amount of uh, Kotak Bank shares without, you know, uh, corresponding. The price will increase, but they will not lose because they have long position in futures. So without getting disturbed by the price movement, so they could acquire. But markets will move violently and people, other people pay the price. So that's what exactly happened yesterday. There was a huge spike in Kotak Bank. But what happened today, there is no such forced buying and then it started falling in the morning itself, but started falling aggressively after 3 p.m. The Kotak Bank fall was expected, but ICICI Bank fall was uh, totally not expected. So financials is a main responsible. Yesterday, I told you, even in pre-market also, I told you, that uh, Nifty should close above 18,500 uh, in order to be optimistic. But to our disappointment, Nifty closed below 18,500. Yesterday, 
nifty broke 18500 on the downside but closed higher but today it broke 18500 and started falling further and it did not recover at all in fact it fell more this is a slightly disappointing one we have to see how us markets move today depending upon the outcome of us market global markets will react and tomorrow we will also react now the main question is the trend reversed or is it just one day aberration if you look at uh, the broader picture broader markets are good most of the sectors were higher look at the auto index out of the top five stocks three stocks are from auto so auto does well metal does well mid cap small cap does well so if you see like that then you know it's uh, reasonable to assume that today one is an aberration because of icsa bank and kotak bank but on the other hand second consecutive day nifty breaking 18500 and uh, also uh, there was a huge addition of open interest in 18,800 call option. So far, 18,000 put and 19,000 call had the highest open interest and people thought, you know, the range will be 18,000 to 19,000 this month. But today, uh, there was a huge addition of open interest at 18,800 call option. So that shows that people are becoming slightly bearish. So anyway, so we have to wait for one or two more days to see whether this is just uh, an aberration or a trend reversal. From the long term perspective, so we are still intact and it is in the uptrend only, but in the short term things can change. So that is the picture right now. And today FAIs have become net sellers, but they just sold only for 71 crore. After buying for 30,000 crore, selling for 70 crore is nothing. However, the domestic institutions have bought for 480 crore. So, the overall today, it is a, I would say, indecisive day. We have to wait for one or two more days to see the trend, whether the uptrend resumes or, you know, it is a trend reversal. Uh, today, it is uh, really a confusing signal only. It all depends upon US markets and other markets. But one good thing is that at institutional level, still today, net is buy only. So FIAs have sold for about 70 crore, DAs bought for about 480 crore. That means net institutional flow is still positive. So as long as the net institutional flow is positive, there is nothing much to worry. But market can swing 200 to 300 point here and there even when both institutions are buyers. So that is how the market works. So anyway, last year also, October and November, markets went for a straight rally, but the December had seen a lot of volatility. So the same way uh, here, so April series and May series, we went straight away uh, up about 1,700 points. And now markets are seeing a huge volatility. So huge volatility means, you know, the markets are either uh, resting to resume the rally or market may reverse. So that's why the June series is going to be very, very important series. And uh, one uh, in important observation which I have seen today, yesterday Nifty was down more than 100 point and Bank Nifty was down more than 200, 300 point. But still, December 21,000 call option was trading in green yesterday. Which means, you know, so though markets were falling, but long term they had a bullish view. But today that has changed. When the markets fell, the call premiums in the December options came down. So that is why, you know, so I, I, I think, you know, it's a confuse. So like we don't know whether this could be a possibly a trend reversal. So the confirmation will come anyway one or two days later. So hope you enjoyed listening to this audio. Thank you for listening.